I have absolutely no idea what happened. I've been talking to myself for all this time because I had no settings changed. That's so frustrating. <sighs> Sorry, now I'm in like a really bad mood because because that's really disappointing. Um, just been talking to myself. I don't know what happened. Uh, my stream software was telling me my mic was live and transmitting and everything was good and I just basically had to mute it and unmute it a bunch of times. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. How's the music? Seems, I don't know, seems a little loud to me, but I, I hear it differently than you hear it. Let's just get, get playing. North of Hawkshead, east of Loic, west of Riversland, the south of Crinkle Crags. Oh man, I don't actually remember what happened last, so I can't even really give you guys a, a catch up or anything. I feel bad. I said hi to so many people. <laughs> I was saying hi to all of you guys and talking about the poll. A silly poll is, um, would you rather visit the moon or the ocean floor? And I, you know, I didn't say it, but I implied in, in like a safe way when you wouldn't have to be where you could breathe. <laughs> you know, assuming that you could be totally safe and you could breathe and, and you were contained or whatever, um, would you rather visit the moon or visit like the depths of the ocean? Personally, I pick ocean because I think there'd be a lot more to see than on the moon. No offense to the moon, but it's just kind of a lot of rock and empty space. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first things first, let's say hi to Hellboy, our kitty. Mm, good kitty. Who's a good kitty? I love, I love the cat. And I love that you can pet the cat. And that's my favorite thing. So. Let's check out, let's see if we can solve this little, um, puzzle. Uh, I'll put this up for now. Okay, here's the map. And it says north of Hawkshead. Okay, let's find, oh, I found Hawkshead right off the bat. Uh, north of Hawkshead. Okay, now let's see if I can find Loic, Rusland, or Crinkle Crags. Here's Crinkle Crags, south of Crinkle Crags, and north of Oxet. So we basically, it's got to be in this one place. Here's Rusland, and it's west of Rusland and east of Loic, which is here. So it's basically got to be right here. I think it's this exact spot, right guys? Let's see. Okay, it's north of Hawkshead. It is east of Loic. It is west of Rusland, and it is south of Crinkle Cracks. Yeah. So it's um E seventeen. E seventeen. Let's go visit Crinkle Cracks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Crinkle Cracks. Crinkle Cracks. It sounds silly to me. <laughs> it's a cute name though. I would also like to see the deep sea fishes. Yeah. My eyes are drawn to the silhouette of a grizzled old man standing at the edge of a field. His mind is broken, seemingly beyond repair. Vacant eyes fixate on nothing, a whisper of an expression as my gaze sweeps his face, but only a whisper. He raises his arm, points. I follow his outstretched finger and am surprised to find a cluster of wild flowers growing there, hidden from view. Alright, um, Josh asked how this game works. Well, Josh, I put it before on the channel. If you missed that, let me give you a brief rundown for everyone who's new. We work in this shop in, uh, Undermere, and these are our plants. We've got mushrooms, flowers, bulbous plants, and we have a little watering can, 
which we can water the plants with. Some of them have name tags, as you can see, some of them don't. And that's because our goal is to try to figure out what they do and don't do. And we have this little book here. So you can see the ones that are checked are the ones that we figured out. People come to us with different problems and we need to... Um, oh, happy birthday, Jen! Happy, happy birthday! Thank you for spending a little bit of your special day with us. That is, uh, that is really kind. I hope that you have a great, great time here with us. So see these different plants have different kind of, um, things like this one's treatment for stomach pains. This one... Warming effect against the cold. So, and it'll tell us a little bit about how it looks. Like, this one has dark green leaves. And the flowers smell buttery, so we've actually, I think we figured that one out. Did we figure out Butterdale? Yeah, we did. Which one is that? This one. This one we figured out is Butterdale. It's got dark green leaves, and if we investigate it, we put it up here, they have a light buttery scent. Ah, oh, okay. So we figured that one out. And there's also a bit of a mystery happening. Uh, this woman was murdered, and we are trying to kind of figure out what's going on with that. And this is the map of the area. We can visit different areas. And yeah, if you guys haven't seen the video I did on this, I highly recommend watching that because it's really good. That noise is a little loud. I don't like how loud it is. So if that's too loud, let me know. And this is our cat. <laughs> you can scratch the cat, and I love it. Okay, ready to start our day. Let's ding really loud, which I might have to just turn the volume down, like, a lot. For this one, I had to really, um, I had to really, like, adjust the audio myself, personally. Yeah, I don't think they did a good job at balancing the sound, to be honest. Um, I mean, they did a good job in, in other regards, but sound balancing is really important and if you're vibing with a game and all of a sudden something's too loud i i not into that so this is wilbur whoa i forgot that you could just zoom it's kind of freaked me out wilbur says he's looking for a plant lady of what's it something or other he's no green-eyed drayer i don't know what that is it's the one that's supposed to help with mental decline he's looking for lady of summer Oh, thank you! I love all the old school videos you're making. Well, I have been doing this for almost 10 years, so I think everything I do is kind of old school. <laughs> yeah. So let's look for Lady of Summer and read about that. The leaves curl around delightfully, which combine with an attractive flower and a hardy nature make this a sought-after ornamental plant. Oh, Alright, and this here, it aids with, like, memory deterioration, which is what he's looking for. We can't always go by these photos, sometimes the photos are a little misleading, so we're gonna look, but we're not gonna rely too much on this image of the flower. Okay, I've kind of grouped these pretty flowers like this. Um, this one? Oh, we already know, it's, we already know Lady of Summer, do we? Yeah, the leaves curl around. That's definitely Lady of Summer. Definitely. Okay, so we give it to him. And we say, Here you go. That's another sound that I don't like. It's way too loud. And he gave us um, something to add to the book. Pet the cat. I wish you could, like, have more control over the sounds, because I would, like, if I could just turn, like, the cat petting and like the page turning have that be a little bit louder and then have like the bell and all that be like a lot more quiet because <laughs> I really don't love that okay David Schaefer, David's our mailman they're saying the art has been killed that's who was killed, yeah I know a lot of people don't trust that sister but it seemed to me the art always looked out for those less fortunate so he brought us a letter, it's got a seal 
Thank you, Flawless Owl. Thank you for your ASMR. They always make my day and help me sleep. I have followed you for years and you've never failed to help me sleep. That is so sweet. Um, I really... It means a lot that I can help you sleep because I know what that's like. I've struggled to fall asleep and the moment I found ASMR and whispering it was like a game changer, right? So, thank you so much. And it means a lot that you're here with me today. Let's read this letter. It's from this guy, Amos Duncan. He's sent us a letter before. The cold is too much to bear beyond the gap. I was forced to turn back. I would advise against it, but if you are determined to explore Great Gable, be sure to take precautions. Knowing you, I'm sure you'll have a plant up your sleeve that can keep you warm should the weather turn against you. Yeah, we actually read... We just saw that. Brimlock, right? Brimlock protects against the cold. So he's talking about Great Gable. Shall we try to see about Great Gable? Where's Great Gable? I can, I can zoom in. Whoa. The zooming is a little awkward. But it's to help those with vision impairment like myself. Okay, here's Great Gable. So it's Great Gable's a um, mountain. Something I'm not familiar with. Shall we go check it out? I think we're gonna need some Brimlock, though. Here we go, Great Gable. After several hours of arduous hiking and scrambling, I'm still some distance from the summit. Yeah, we need that Brimlock. I don't think we actually know what Brimlock is. So let's figure it out. The leaves are waxy and tough, and it can produce small yellow flowers. That one's not it. Mm, small yellow flowers, small yellow flowers. It says it can produce, so it doesn't necessarily always produce small yellow flowers. These are kind of yellow. Are the leaves waxy and tough? No, not really. It doesn't say anything about that. Mm, these aren't small. The leaves are soft. That's not it. Which one is Brimlock? Maybe it doesn't have leaves right now? This one has smooth and waxy leaves. No, we're looking for waxy and tough. Small yellow flowers. These are red. In my other game, I was categorizing them by color. Am I blind? Does anyone see this plant? Small yellow. I don't think I... I might not have it. I might not have it. Which would be... That doesn't make sense. I would think that... I would give you the ones you need in order to solve these little puzzles. Oh, I can't find it. These are mushrooms. Jake says, Waxy and Tough was my nickname in high school. <laughs> Thank you, Jake. <laughs> I'm gonna give up. I, I actually have never... I've never had a thing where, like, we couldn't figure it out. But... Man. I did not see anything that has small yellow flowers with waxy, tough leaves. Unless... I'm colorblind, which I'm really not. <laughs> okay, I'll just leave, unfortunately. We'll check back another time. Okay, Amos, we'll figure that out later. Norman says, this plant is cursed. It has brought me nothing but sorrow. Please take it. I want nothing more to do with it. He gave us a plant, and it's a mushroom. I'm gonna put it on the mushroom shelf. Let's see what it says about it. It's uh, got red spores growing on it. Yeah, I can see that myself. <laughs> Melissa said just trying the very last plant. Which one do you mean? The very last one? You mean like this one or this one? Or do you mean this one? That's not that one. That one we already know. I really don't know. Pet the cat. Petting the cat's a very important job in this game. We have to do it in between every person. 
here's Simone. I think Simone is the librarian. Hello there. Always a pleasure, my feline friend. I hope he's nibbling the plants again. I have a favor to ask. You owe me for the hours I spent digging up the information on those plants. I've been burning the midnight oil again and could use some common trowels, and I know where to find it. Okay. According to Grayson's Herbology, it grows in abundance on red pike. Where's red pike? I'll come by the day after tomorrow to collect it. I have business in Sedberg in the meantime. Okay. We got a little bit of an entry on Simone. She's the she's the librarian at Ambleside and her our friend. There's other people we know. Isidore Burbage. He's the barrister, a rich man. Reuben Ward, he's the yeah, he's the guy investigating the murder. This is Bethany Coleman. She's in this Arda sisterhood thing, so she came to us with help for help. Faye Swift is the one that has the psychic visions. Okay. So, she gave us this entry on common trous, and she said it should be all over red pike. Hi, TBH. TBH says, your Animal Crossing ASMR got my favorite time when I was having constant panic attacks and couldn't sleep. Thank you so much. That is the- I'm so sorry you were having panic attacks, but the fact that my animal crossing ASMR helps is amazing. I'll have to think about doing an animal crossing stream in the future, if you'd like that. I think it would be a lot of fun to do the Happy Home Designer game, actually. The DLC, that would, that would actually be a lot of fun, so I'll have to think about that. Unfortunately, I, I'm not able to stream Switch games just yet. There's Red Pike, because I don't have the capture card on this computer. So, it'll be in the future, but we'll hopefully do that. Okay, let's go to Red Pike. I enjoy a pleasant stroll up the fell. The going is easy, the weather agreeable, and the view is majestic. I do not have to look hard to find what I'm after. And here's the common trous. So, we know that this is common trous. I'm putting it up here. These are the ones that don't have flowers. This is the one you guys suggested I should try, but... I, I've seen this one before, and yeah, it doesn't- it doesn't have wide on the waxy rough leaves. Okay, this one is common trous. The next stream should just be petting the cat. Well, I could- I could do a stream petting my cat. I think he'd like that. Good kitty. Good kitty kitty. Um, okay. Verona Green. When you work with the occult, I find it pays to uphold a certain image. If you're going to be accused of performing witchcraft anyway, it doesn't hurt to put on a bit of a show every now and then. Let the punters know what I'm capable of, sort of thing. Huh. What's she gonna ask for? Long story short, I may have threatened to turn a small boy into a toad when the little bugger called my bluff. Oh, don't look at me like that. You know what little boys are like. I can assure you, he deserves to be turned into a toad. <laughs> anyway, I think a little display is needed to discourage this sort of behavior in future. Have you got any shimmer lung? Uh, let's look for shimmer lung. Shimmer lung. I love that name. Shimmer lung, shimmer lung, shimmer lung. Oh, I think I've seen this one. Um, should I, I should stream Mario Odyssey? Yeah, that's when I get, if I start streaming Switch stuff, I'll stream Mario, Super Mario Odyssey, I'll stream Breath of the Wild, I'll stream Mario Kart even, like, I'll stream all my, all my games, maybe even some, like, um, Super Mario Galaxy, yeah, oh, always. Um, okay, so this, they've got, like, it's, like, tubular, and I, it looks maybe like this. The dried stem burns very brightly and noisily, and the flowers grow wrapped in large, ribbed, rich leaves. It's definitely this. It's definitely this. I'm going to say shimmer lung, shimmer lung, and we'll give it to Verona. Here you go, Verona. 
Have I ever thought about streaming Sims 2? Well, I don't even have Sims 2. Um, I haven't had Sims 2 in a long time. I mean, I have the- I have CD-ROMs of it, but I don't have disk drives on my computer. Ugh, I hate that noise. <laughs> it's so loud. Um, so I- I would have to find a way to download Sims 2 and run it on my computer. And even then, I don't think it'd probably run very well. Um, in the meantime, I definitely recommend checking out my friend Whisper Games' videos on Sims 2, because they're really fun, and that will- until I can get it sorted out, and that can satisfy your Sims 2 itch for Sims 2 ASMR, maybe. The Whisper Games. Irving Harris. I don't recognize him. Sorry if I'm shouting. I'm a little hard of hearing. I'm looking for a plan that can supposedly help me hear better, but I've forgotten what it's called. He's yelling to us. I remember it's bright red, though. Okay, let's look through and see if we can find something for, for hearing. I mean, I shouldn't name it. I saw you commented I should name it Fernando. I'll think about Fernando, because I do think that's a cute name. <laughs> it made me think of it. There was something in the air that night The star <laughs> ran Fernando uh, This one is like psychic visions and stuff This one's cold This is afflictions of the mind Eye strain Thank you Goofman, Goofman says I'm the bomb Yeah, thank you <laughs> I do love Sims 2, guys. I do love it. Sims 2 was my first Sims game, as I did not play the first game. I'm a little young for that one, um, so I played Sims 2, and it was love at first download. <laughs> Sounds weird. <laughs> um, doesn't say I'm going to sleep into So I would definitely love to play Sims 2 again. Okay, definitely not that one. Stomach distress. Um, memory. Carrying afflictions of the heart. Causes sores. Gastric distress and reduce anxiety. Man, I'm not fighting poisons. Oh, here we go. St. John's Poppy. It says that, um, that the, the flowers can be brewed to create a drop that can greatly improve the imbiber's hearing ability. And even better, I think we know this one because it was like the first one we did. There we go. Yeah, we already knew that that was St. John's Poppy. And just like that, we've ended the day. So let's end our day. And we're going to be back where we were in the beginning card. Let's see what it says. Oh, this one is ripped. <gasps> Look at that. Some sort of story is, is going here. It's talking about it started when she found something that she was not meant to find. A book tucked away and then it's like the book fascinated and terrified her. She could hide the book and this was like time passed, a year and then another. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. What's going on with it? Yeah, I love this game. Oh, listen to that. It's raining now. Yeah. I'm gonna turn up the sound a bit more so we can enjoy that. Okay, let's see if we can figure this out. Now, my guess is that this tear is a strategic tear and is actually going to help us. Like, I think. I reckon that it goes along like the uh, uh, exactly we did it. So that X marks the spot would be N six N six right here. The gentle sound of flowing uh, flowing water, the sunlight through scattered clouds. A reset. 
Alright, we found a couple plants. Let me turn the volume down a lot before I get this noisy plants. Turn it back up. Yeah, this is oh, this is honestly one of my favorite games I've ever played too because it's so unique. It's amazing. And it's really relaxing, but I've really like I'm really engrossed in the story, I really enjoy the gameplay loop, and I was a little disappointed that it didn't do as well, the video didn't get that many views, which is okay, but, you know, it's hard for me to warrant continue doing a sequel if the first one I did didn't do well, you know? So that makes me sad. Oh, Ruben Ward is back. Fox button was no help, I'm afraid. The sister had still refused to speak. Yeah, he's investigating and the sister had don't want to talk to him. Um, now that I have the time to pursue it properly, I'm rushed off my feet this week. There's been a body found up at the Swinside Stone Circle and apparently it's a grizzly one. Ooh. Don't suppose you've got anything to help keep my lunch down? Yeah, I think we actually do have something for gastric distress. Fennet. 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 Yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. It has long, soft leaves. Long, soft leaves. These are kind of... This one's kind of... These are long. Mm, long, flat leaves. What has long, soft leaves? Plant Tycoon? Oh, I love Last Day of War games. Oh, I've played so many. So, so many Last Day of War games. I'll check it out for sure. I love all the tycoon games. Long flat leaves. Long soft leaves, not long flat leaves. Now I'm reading. I just looked at this one, right? Hmm. No, I did. <laughs> the leaves are soft. Oh, I think it's this one. I think it's this one. I reckon this is Fennet. Let's tr let's check it. I'm gonna turn it down. I'm actually just gonna mute it. It was it. That was Finnet. Alright, let's identify it as Finnet. There we go. Very nice. Give the cat a purr. Give the cat a purr. Give the cat a pet that makes it purr. <laughs> Hmm. Gonna ring the bell. Oh, look, it's the mailman. It's David. Hi, David. Verona Greenhand. Oh, we spot spoke to her yesterday. Let's open the letter. I meant to tell you this yesterday, but it slipped my mind. I discovered a plant on a recent trip to Grisdale Forest, just northeast of Rusland. It was like nothing I've ever seen before. I would have brought back with me if a sister had given me a moment alone, but they seemed overly protective. Oh, let's check that out. So she's saying... Grisdale Forest, which is down here, and, um... It's just northeast of Rusland. So... Here... Or, no, here... <laughs> I, I know my cardinal directions. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are enjoying this so much. It's such a fantastic game, and I'm happy that maybe a live stream can introduce more of you to it. You just keep singing, Eileen. Just keep singing, Fernando. It's gonna be stuck in your head all day now. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> okay. It must be this one. Which is, um... What is that? K... K-19. Okay. K-19. In Grisdale Forest. From the moment I step off the road, I can't shake the feeling I'm being watched. <gasps> Suddenly, I find my way blocked by three women wearing green cloaks and holding short elbows. Oh, nobody may, may wander freely throughout the forest by order of the Arda, says the leader of the trio. I turn to walk back, but then again, I have a few tricks up my sleeve. What does Mellow Glow do? 
the first remarkable, it can allow a person to pass unnoticed. Mm, and it's got sharp thorns. Sharp thorns. I can't speak. Sharp. Sharp thorns. <laughs> I think it's this. Well, then again, this one has thorns too. Sharp thorns. Going to look at the Titanic is a great use of the of the visiting the, the ocean floor, right, Jordan? I personally voted for ocean floor, <laughs> but not everybody is as interested in the ocean as me. I'm gonna guess it's this one. I guess I should look if there are anything else with thorns. I don't see anything else with thorns. Let's use that. With the help of the mellow glow, I walk right past the sisters without them paying me any heed. Chuckling to myself, I collect the plant that Verona talked about and take my leave. Where is it? I missed it. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I don't know. Where is We got a new plant. <laughs> this one, maybe? I don't recognize that. Oh, we haven't collected it yet. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Let me take it. Now we have a new plant, and it's this one of these little berries. Yeah. Let's move it aside. Yeah, we'll put it. This will be the. This is the berry. Uh, what? What is here? What is? What am I doing here? That one can go there. And then we'll put bulb plants here. Oh, any more? Any more bulb plants? These are like flowerless plants, just leafy ones. I can make my mic louder or I can turn down the. I try not to turn it up too much so you don't hear my computer fan. I don't think you hear it today though, because this game's not a very demanding game. One second, I gotta turn it. I gotta do this like every time. I gotta do something loud. <laughs> Face whipped his back. I'm afraid. The camphor you gave me is helping me sleep, and I'm very grateful for it, but the visions are as strong as ever. She's the psychic. The woman in the jade mask appears in my dreams every night. She screams at me but I do not know why, and behind her that presence is always there, dark and dreadful. I don't know what to do. The dreams feel like a warning that I don't understand, a mosaic of color that refuses to come into focus. Some part of, part of me wants to stare down that abyss, but I'm afraid. So we have a choice. We can carry Aguria or Candlewood. Now Aguria enhances the visions. Candlewood would help prevent them. So we could help her or we could make it a little worse but maybe help the dreams come out a bit. I'm gonna help her. I'm gonna give her Candlewood. It says it produces a red flower and long, thin stems grow upon tall leaves. I think it would be this. No, that's... this is red flower, not fruits. Maybe this? Yeah, I think this is candlewood. Let's give it to her. Turn. Down. So that was Candlewood. Okay, let's identify it. Candlewood. When I um when I post this tonight, by the way, guys, I will um include the link to my last Strange Horticulture game where I played the beginning. 
So you guys can check that one out if you're already itching for more strange horticulture. And um oh, got turned down again. So yeah, so you have another as soon as this stream is over you can go and check out another strange horticulture ASMR video of mine. We don't come to end of it often, but I heard about your shop and I said to Francis we simply must pay a visit. It's a wonderful breath of life in an otherwise dreary town. <laughs> I'm the good fingered one. And it's not really his cup of tea, but I persuaded him the trip would do him good. And besides, we wanted to take a boat out on the lake. I couldn't keep up her annoying voice. Shame about this awful weather. Now this is great weather. I love it. We must come to Sizerg. We have a small library, some books and plants that my grandfather acquired many years ago. That's nice. I'm sure they'll be of interest to a horticulture such as yourself. You are cordially invited to Sizerg Castle, Lord and Lady Elspeth. Do you reckon we could go right now, or would that be a little awkward? Realistically, she's ten feet outside my shop, but <laughs> we can just go anyway. Where is there Sizerg Castle? Um, yeah. I'm greeted enthusiastically by Lady Elspeth herself. I don't know how she got home so fast. She's very talkative. She has many questions on horticulture. I do my best to answer. She takes me on a tour of the gardens. Oh, you must take a sample of this back with you, she exclaims, pointing on a plant I do not recognize. And before I can stop to take a look, she's already with me on to the next. And this one too, she says. I'm quite exhausted by the time we make it to the library, and I don't have the time to make as thorough a study as I would like. Nevertheless, I'm able to find an interesting entry that I note down. Don't forget these, Lady Elspeth cries as I make to leave. She thrusts the plants from the gardens into my hand, and I thank her warmly. That was a very nice visit. We got two plants and an entry for Fever Kiss. Fever Kiss. Okay, let's... So we still have it. Shall we look and see if we have... Oh, oh look at this one. Well, this one has small yellow... What was it called that we were looking for? Um, Brimlock? Yeah. Small yellow flowers and waxy... No, those are small yellow berries. Um, these are not really small yellow flowers. I don't think we found it yet, the Brimlock, which is weird. That one's candy root. It is, right? The leaves are coarse, though, it says. What is candy root? I could have gotten this wrong. No, it's a leaf from that. It says we've discovered it, though we've discovered Alright, I guess I'll just settle for the fact that we haven't found that yet. Okay. Oh, it's your first time on the stream. Welcome, Kuya and Tartalia. Welcome. Gonna ring the bell. Philip Shaw says, Mushroom. Red spores. Moves in the dark. That's all I've got. Any ideas? Yeah, I think it's Wandering View. Um, Wandering Bew. Oh, did you go out and you bought it right after? <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. Um, a friend of mine, I believe, told me about this game. No, the friend of mine. I get confused on who tells me about games, but I watched a little Steam video for it and I was like, oh yes, <laughs> this is a game I'm gonna like and that you guys will like too. Yeah, it moves in the dark. So it's definitely this one. Wandering Bew. Yep, we already knew that that was that. I am enjoying this game a lot, yes. Pet the cat. It's very important that we keep petting the cat. And this is Selena Scott. I don't recognize her. They're saying Blackcomb is haunted now. 
Bradley Miller told me he saw the ghost of a huge deer, antlers and all, but then Bradley Miller also says he can talk to squirrels. Either way, there's something evil in them hills, and I'm not taking any chances. Where is this black comb? Awful what happened to that poor young man up at Swinside. I'm come for some stinking mount cap. Where is this black comb? Just curious. Black oh you're swim side, so it was black comb nearby. Oh did it we We did something here or near here. Okay, so she's come for some stinking mount cap. Well, that sounds delicious. <laughs> Which we know it as sunset. Um, Mount Cap. Do we not have a. We don't have an entry for it? I'm kind of confused. We don't have an entry for it, Wanda. I'm so very confused. Here are the S's. <laughs> and there's no. What are we to do? <laughs> what are we gonna do? Uh, because look, I've got... I bet I could figure it out if we smell them. One of them's got to smell bad. Bad. I mean, cap. It's gotta be a, a mushroom, right? It smells rotten. Mm -hmm. That's a possibility. That smells rotten. Uh, viscous white liquid can be seen oozing. Mm -hmm. And that one's- oh, but that one smells badly, too. Oh, thank you so much for this- is it a super... sticker, I think? It says, thanks for being you. I think that's my first super sticker. That's so cute. I love it. <laughs> Everyone can enjoy it now. It looks like a little pear, and he's looking at himself in the mirror in love. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. I love that. I'm gonna keep looking at it. Oh, I'm gonna try to give her this one. I'm a little worried. If you do get something wrong, this rising dread grows. And I don't know what happens if you fill this up. It's not good. I figured I'd get the entry, but I don't have the thing for this. Unless I do, and I'm blind. The thing I need for this... Is the Primlock, which... Produces small yellow flowers, and the leaves are waxy... And tough, and I don't have that. This is not it. I just don't have it. It's not this one. It's not that one. So I am kind of stuck in a way because in order to get this, I need to do this. But in order to do this, I need this. And, and I'm kind of... Yeah, I'm stuck. I'm gonna take a guess that this is the this is the stinking one, right? It smells really bad. It's gotta be this one. Fingers crossed. Here's this stinky plant. Oh, okay. It was that. It was that one. Well, we got in it. We got a new entry for that one. And pet the cat. And we'll end the day. Another card, another clue. Let's see what this one will be. She lives alone in a castle to the northwest of the abbey. She buried her husband three miles to the east, where the Everard grows. This poor girl is not having a good time. Not a good time. Let's see, will it be raining today? On day five, Tuesday? No, it's a sunny day today. Hi, Elbor. Mm -hmm. Cute kitty. Okay, let's have a look at this. She lives alone. Castle northwest of the Abbey. What Abbey? Let's see. Here's an Abbey, and here's the castle. 
castle, okay? And she buried her husband three miles to the east where the Everard grows. One, two, three, B, four. Before what? <laughs> A dead tree, its bark cracked and blackened by fire, stands alone on the hillside. Off to one side, a patch of flowers grows on a low mound. Eileen, are you still singing Fernando? <laughs> Is it stuck in your head? <laughs> Fernando makes me think of an episode of Community, one of my, my favorite TV shows, probably my favorite TV show. There's um, a Halloween episode and they play a bunch of ABBA songs in it. <laughs> if you're an ABBA fan, you should watch it. Pet the cat again. Okay, time for the first customer. Oh, Faye Swift again. She says, I must thank you. Last night, for the first time in weeks, my mind was calmed. I'm no longer tormented by visions of the woman in the jade mask and that terrible monster. Now I'm wondering if you have some worry less to keep my over-anxious thoughts at bay. Well, we have an entry for it. An aptly named plant, inhaling the smell of the flowers, is said to help ease symptoms of anxiety. That sounds nice. There's some flowers I really like to smell. Does this smell nice? Just kind of looked like maybe one of those. So what, I have to just look for something that looks like it smells nice? Nope, that's an unpleasant scent. Definitely not that one. <laughs> oh, I didn't label the mushroom. Thank you for pointing that out. What was it called? Sunset Mount Cap, I believe. I think it was called Sunset Mount Cap. I can always rename it. Sunset Mount Cap. Where the colloquial name seemed to be Stinking Mount Cap. Um. Don't worry. It really doesn't give us a lot to go on, does it? Pink flowers. Got these two kind of um, little sprigs of leaves, and uh, that's it. That's it. This one, maybe? Oh, smells like sweet rhubarb. Hmm, what do you think? I reckon it might be this one. Uh, yeah, let's give her this one. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <gasps> oh, that wasn't it. we added to the rising dread. Oh dear Jacqueline, you've caught us at a bad time. We've just gotten something wrong and I have to be very, very careful. Oh dear, it's something that has flowers and it, smelling it makes you feel better. has a sweet scent, but those leaves don't look anything like what we have here. Oh man, how about this one? They smell wonderful. Boom, it's this one. That's it. I am certain. I am a little too nervous to find out what happens if you get something wrong like two or three times in a row, because eventually you're gonna... Ooh, eventually it's not gonna be good. So this is the worry less. Worry less. Very nice. Alright. Have I gotten anything with yellow flowers in a while? Yeah, I know. I just kind of panicked when it said it smelled like to me, rhubarb smells really nice. So I was like, yeah, it's that one. And I panicked. And I shouldn't have panicked. No, I still don't have anything that I think could be the Brimlock, so I'm not gonna risk that. I'm gonna ring the bell, 
Simone is here. Let's pet the cat. I met a strange man on the road to Sedberg not two days ago. Stranger still, he asked after you. He said he had something for you. Don't ask me what. <laughs> I'm gonna get you with your little black. So I told him where to find you, but he looked stricken when I mentioned Undermere. Oh, he's gonna lick his little paw. <laughs> said he doesn't come near towns at all. He was headed west. At least I think he was. Said he was looking for the Winster Spring. Where is that? I'll write this down for you. Uh, so she was in Sedberg, which is here. And he's looking for some spring, which I'm not seeing. He was headed west from here. Oh, and just like she wants the common dress, which we did find for her, it was this one. Yeah. There you go. Common dress. And this is men want to meet you headed west from Sedbur, possible to the source of the River Winster. The River Winster. The River Winster is here. So, we're gonna head there. That feels like a bit of a stretch. I think the Brimlock is the third plant on the upper right. This one? Oh, well, we did just get it. It's not this one. It's not that, because this one doesn't have- these aren't flowers, right? It feels like rough glass paper. I'm pretty sure it's not that. Oh, I don't know real for sure. Um, yeah, I will. I almost did my Sims, uh, stream. Almost streamed The Sims today, actually, but I thought I would, um, do this one since pe so a lot of people wanted it on the bowl. So, it can't be the plant left of it, because it's supposed to have flowers. Yellow flowers. So, he wants to meet us. Uh, he's headed west from Sedberg. He's possibly going to the source of the River Winster. This is the River Winster. The source would be here? Or here? This is the mouth, so I guess this would be it. So, should we say here? Ooh, I don't really know. Um, let's say here. Ah, oh, we found him. The hermit's camp is easy to find, nestled between two boulders above the spring. The cold remains of a fire ringed by stones, the only immediate sign that anyone was here. I call out, but there's no reply. The hermit is not here. A more thorough search of the campsite yields something interesting. Tucked off to one side, I discover some broken pieces of wood arranged on the floor. So he seems to be saying, down two miles and over to the right three. They'll be down two miles and over here, near the castle where we were earlier. But I can't travel yet because we don't have any will to explore. Never mind, we just got a bunch. <laughs> Down to you. one, two, three. The camp at the Winster Springs led me to another camp of sorts where I'm created by an eccentric man. Oh yes, yes, ho 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 ho, the man says. You must take this. Take it, take it. At his insistence, I receive the looking glass that he thrusts into my hands. He places an envelope delicately on top. Ho oh, ho, oh, it's no use to me anymore. Ho oh, oh, ho, no use. Don't forget the red. The red, the red, the red. Ho oh, ho, Apony. I'm quite sure. I'm sure that he's quite mad. Yeah, but he's given us something interesting. Oh, I didn't need to turn it down for that. Look at what he's given us. It's this interesting looking glass lens so we can look at our pretty cat more. It's got this sort of gauge and this bar here. It's pretty it's pretty odd. Let's read this letter. It said that the red ebony plant has the property of uncovering that which is hidden or secret. Secret spelled wrong? Secret. Yeah. I have perfected a device designed to 
to use extract from the plant. Yeah, they're all spelled wrong. In concert with the viewing window in order to permit the user to see magics otherwise invisible to the naked eye. What? It's odd that... What am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to find the red ebony? I don't think we have that. Uh, no. Red ebony. Nope, I don't know anything about that just yet. Um... Hmm. I don't know, he's a little bit, a little bit crazy, so I'm not really sure what we are supposed to do with this yet. I know you can put plants, like, in it, but I'm not gonna do that because uh, I did that in my other game, and I got in trouble, so I'm not gonna do it again. Hello, Conrad. I'm not long for this world, and I've decided that I want to be buried in a grave decorated with rare and beautiful Kabbalia. Like a drear huntsman with their genthium covered tombs. Oh, it's kind of sad. Cabalia. Oh, Cabalia flowers almost always contain six petals. Finding a seven petal flower is considered to bring good fortune. Well, let's look for six petaled flowers. We have five petals here. Five petals. More than six. These are six, but that's fennet. Uh, oh, these are six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see, these are five, four, two, two. I think it's, I think we found it. I think it's this one right here. I think this is Cabalia. And it does look quite a bit like the image here. Let me label it. Cabalia. And yeah, I'm very excited to get to talk to Tracy again, the girl boss Tracy. She's an icon, and I'm excited to check in on her and find out what a hot mess she is. <laughs> Pet the cat. And ring the bell. Oh, uh, no. <gasps> this She's wearing a green mask. Jade mask. Your reputation is growing, horticulturists. I hear you are the person to come to for plants that are difficult to acquire. My head feels like it has been torn in two lately. I'm looking for some hop heart. Hop heart. This is the woman that... That she's been having dreams about. Unknown. The woman in the jade mask. The woman that she's having dreams about. Mysterious. So, hop hard. Firm leaves grow up the stems, leading to blue flowers. Firm leaves. A lot of these are identified already. I mean, I can't tell if this is blue or not. Oh, this is blue. Stiff leaves. Makes me think it's this one. I think that's this one. Okay. Um, this is this is my purely ASMR save file. So if you go back, um, Rogue's Gaming Squad, if you go back and you watch my first and only ever ever um, Strange Horticulture video that I made, you will see the first couple of days, and then if you start the stream, it picks up exactly where that leaves off, and I will not touch the save outside of filming a video or live streaming. So you can guarantee that you're gonna get the whole story, the whole experience. Yeah. Okay, let's give her the hop heart and fingers crossed. That was it. Okay, good, 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 good. Hop heart. Sweet time, it's your birthday too. It's Jen's birthday as well in the streams. So we got two birthday people today. That is awesome. So many so many birthday people, so I hope you have a happy, happy birthday. I hope you eat like some cake or something yummy that you like, and I hope that everyone's really nice to you today. <sighs> they should, right? Oh, look, Verona's back. Ruben Ward is called on my unique expertise to aid in his investigation of the Swinside Stone Circle. Unique expertise, ha. 
He knows how to flatter an old woman when he wants something. I thought about telling him to suck an egg. Gave it a good long thought, actually, but my curiosity has got the better of me. <laughs> She's quite sassy, and I love her. <laughs> he must be desperate if he's coming to me, and I'll bet they found something juicy down there. Signs of ritual sacrifice, maybe. I could do some witch vic. Oh, yeah. We have witch vic somewhere. Always comes in useful. Oh, you changed your name, Sammy Joe. Okay. Oh. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't know your new name, but yeah. Um, witch vic is. seems to have like. Well, it says it's similar to the fever kiss. Do we know what the fever kiss? We don't know what the fever kiss is either. It has red berries. This has red berries, and the leaves are... The leaves are kind of pale on this one. But it looks more similar to this one. And then the witch fig... Um, has leaves similar to it. These two look pretty similar. Small yellow berries. These are pretty similar, but the fever kiss definitely had red berries. So I'm guessing, or just a guess, that this is fever kiss. I really need to just turn on the auto labeling. I think I'm just gonna turn it on. <laughs> um which would just automatically, which one was Hop Heart? Fabian said I forgot to do that one. Which one was that? Was it over here? And there's this one. See, if I had had the auto thing on, then I wouldn't have forgotten. So I think that this is Witch Vic. I'm fairly certain. And I don't really want to be wrong because we've already messed up earlier today. But we were right. That's Witch Vic. So then that means that's definitely Fever Kiss. Very good. Uh, the stream where I kept all the children in cages. What? That must have been a long, long time ago because I have not done that lately. <laughs> just gonna water some plants just for fun. Oh, that was a long time ago. I think you're talking about the... Oh man, what was her name? The mom was like, so weird. And we named the kids all really weird things. And Yorkshire ASMR named a bunch of the kids, I remember. Is it or saying he never sees anybody in my shop? It's a daily surprise that we're still in business. How rude. Oh my gosh, he's so rude. He needs some bishop's parasol, which is, um, for, for, for light, yeah? It's a mushroom. Oh, we did see one that was leaking. This one? Yes, this must be bishop's parasol then. The cat is hellbore. This is cat. Hellbore. Alright, this must be the bishop's parasol. At least we're doing better since this. And we got an uh, entry for Royal Gentia, which I'm almost positive is this right here. Looks just like it. rain again because we're gonna be ending our day here just a short stream today um i could do a q a stream sometime yes whenever i get a camera that i can use so i can actually talk to you guys i would love to do a stream where i just talk to everybody that would be really nice um um, we can do more chatty streams at that point, but right now I don't have any sort of camera to show my face, so we're just doing gaming right now. 
and then that way they can be nice and long. Um, so, I, yeah, thank you guys for coming by. I hope you all liked it. I'm gonna end the little poll. Let's see, just... So let's see, what one? How do I go back and see it? Oh, the moon overwhelmingly won. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed because I, I'd rather go to the ocean, but it's okay, you guys can go to the moon. I'll just, I'll be in the ocean, alright? Um, don't forget, this video will be going up on my channel later this evening if you want to watch it from the beginning. And I'm now gonna put a link to my previous Strange Horticulture video, put it in the chat. If I can find it, there it is. Yeah, this one didn't get as many views as they normally do. So if you want to go watch some more, follow that link and you will watch my other one and you can catch the beginning of what happened in this game before before everything in this stream today. Oh, lights breathe, 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 so thank you so much. I really appreciate the, the super sticker right at the end. That's really um, thank you guys so much for coming out today. I hope you had fun. I hope you found it relaxing. Don't forget that, uh, that you can watch this again later and see the chat and all that. And I'll see you guys next week for another live stream, I hope. And new video tomorrow. Alright, lots of love everybody. Bye everyone. And, uh...